All right, this is Jackie and I am here with Great Good Fun, okay? We are at day two at Firefly. Uh, last time we spoke was way back in 2017 at Bonnaroo. I'm still recovering from the last one. All right. Yeah. Um, but that was only last week, so it's it's a little bit a little bit better. What were some of the highlights that you guys have gone through as a band since 2017? Wow, a lot of stuff. Um, we've played a lot of shows, uh, released a lot of music. Uh, Broken a lot of hearts. Definitely, yeah, definitely. No, just, you know, uh, every year keeps getting better and uh, playing Firefly this year and some other cool festivals. We're on tour, we're almost done with a good tour. So um, yeah, just been playing a lot. What is it about a live uh, an outdoor festival that you kind of, it, it's not easy to do. Um, but how does it improve upon your live shows, your headlining shows? I mean, I don't know. It's just like a totally different experience. Like everybody at the festival is just there to have like the best time. So I don't know. It's just like we pick up on that energy and it just like ends up being super fun. Do you have a preference, the outdoor versus the indoor? I mean, it's like most of the shows we play are indoor. So it's such a treat to be able to like look out into like a vast uh, outdoor environment so it's cool in that sense um, and yeah like Luke said everybody's just here to have a good time and we get to play for a lot of people who maybe haven't heard of us so when the weather cooperates that definitely helps when it's 95 like Bonnaroo sometimes is maybe not as much fun maybe then you miss the indoor air conditioning yeah, maybe. maybe just a little <laughs> bit um, so what kind of music are you working on right now are you, you writing some songs these days? well we're about to release a new EP on June 28th uh, so um, we just worked a lot on music, and we're going to start writing again for the next thing, but we're just excited about releasing the stuff we have finished. Tease us with the title. Well, it's not a tease. The, the title's out there. It's called GG4. It's our fourth EP. The saga continues. So with songwriting on the EP, is it more autobiographical or more broad sweeping in general? Um, like most of our stuff, like the lyrics are pretty autobiographical. Luke produces and creates all the music um, in his own way, in his own way, but uh, definitely the subject matter is is personal. So, when performing stuff that is a bit personal, do you find that to be cathartic or challenging or somewhere in between? I don't know. I, that's more of a question yeah. for this. <laughs> no, definitely, it feels good to. I wouldn't want to sing about something that wasn't about me, you know. Um, because I can make it my own and I think the audience sort of picks up on that. Um, and so yeah, it's definitely cathartic. And with new music coming out, what role does music streaming have? Is this something that you think about ahead of time or after you've sort of sealed the deal on the work? I mean, it's just like, it's just like what it is now, you know? So it's just sort of like, I don't know how much we think about it when we're making it. If anything, maybe it's like driven us to make like some shorter songs than we would have just like get to the point quicker um, but yeah I don't I'm not sure maybe not so much for an EP as you might for an album but were you thinking more to do something that's co cohesive as an EP or something that sort of showcases the different sides of the band um like honestly like we just focus on writing the best songs we can and we release them as singles and we usually like compile them into an EP but weirdly they always kind of feel like they go together and I think that's because they were all kind of written in the same time period um, by the same people so like um, they all kind of end up feeling like a package even though maybe we didn't intend it at first. So how would you go about choosing your set list for Firefly versus a show that you might be headlining? Uh, we need to figure out what our set list is. Uh, yeah I don't know I think our, our headlining set on this tour is like an hour and five or an hour and ten minutes so it's just like cut some songs out. How can, we, how can we trim it down? What's up next for you guys after Firefly? Um, we're performing in China in August. Um, how did, wait, wait, pa pause on that. How did that come about? Because that's not something that a lot of American bands really get to do. That was just like a promo. I, th I think that it was just a promoter who was a big fan of ours and reached out to our team and kind of we worked it out and it's happening. So we're doing six shows there on August. And we're already thinking about kind of doing like maybe a part two to the tour we're on where we hit some of the markets that we missed on this tour. So just uh, touring more and writing more and, you know, the same stuff. Putting some more stamps in your passport. Right. I like that. Stay tuned for much more from Great, Good, Fine, OK. This is Jackie. Thanks to Chorus FM in the Key of Change and the Vinyl.